What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today with a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we have some more details on One UI 7.0. Yesterday I uncovered a early build running on some demo devices at the Samsung Developer Conference 2024. I posted a full video with my hands on, kind of going through what I found a bunch of photos. If you haven't checked that out, I'll drop the other video below and also you can go over to my account on X slash Twitter um, and check out all that information. Also, make sure if you haven't yet that you are checking out our website. You're going to go to samiguru.com and if you go to samiguru.com, we're covering the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, all of these great things in real time breaking news fashion uh, as they occur. And uh, my full writing team over there kind of helping me out with this and covering all the stories as they do come out. So check that out. If you're in the US, you can also get a free mystery box. You can get a free case cleaning kit desktop phone stand if you purchase the Galaxy, uh, the next Galaxy smartphone in January 2025. Uh, just put in your phone number, email, or both, and then uh, we will send them out for free. We don't charge you shipping or anything like that. We cover all the cost of the products and the shipping. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into some new information here that I didn't show in the last video. And actually, one of these was in my hands-on that I know some of you had watched, uh, and I'll have it here in full form on the screen while you guys can see it while I'm talking. Uh, this is me editing the new quick settings. The tiles are movable and they're different sizes. Um, it doesn't look like you can actually change the uh, size horizontally yet. Uh, I couldn't anyway, but the panels can be moved up and down and you have different size tiles. Um, they can be customized with the different quick settings as well, which is nice. Uh, and they do look quite nice. Now remember, these are also now separate from the notification panel. That was one of the big changes that was rumored and that I also uncovered yesterday running on this demo device. Uh, we now have separate pages for notifications and quick panels, but those are fully editable, um, which is a really nice feature. I think a lot of people will appreciate that. That's something that Apple brought to iOS. It would actually be really nice if they would make it even more customizable uh, in the next version of this update. Obviously, we don't even have the beta yet, um, so that will be coming later this year. They said before the end of 2024, which is probably December, according to Ice Universe, he said it could be December. So here's a couple of other things that I found. Um, new widgets, well, actually, let me just go from the top here. I've got a bunch of things here that I posted in our website Slack. So the first one was the editing of the widget, of the tiles there for quick settings. This is the new power menu, and I'll drop the photos down here below in an album. We just need to watermark them with the Sammy Guru logo, so if they get shared, then we kind of get credit. You got a new restart, power off, uh, emergency call, and medical info. Now, it's not a whole lot different. In fact, let me just, you can see there, the current restart in the current power off medical info. It's a little different though. You can see, obviously, there's subtle differences with the restart and definitely with the emergency call. The power off is just more rounded there instead of being a squircle. Uh, and then the medical info is in fact exactly the same, pretty much just in the circular fashion. So they changed them to round. Um, you still got side button settings there at the bottom. So that's a new, slightly new power off menu. Uh, this is the new battery icon, which yesterday I also talked about, but I didn't really get a full zoomed in shot of that. But there's the new uh, battery icon, so you guys can see it a little closer. We've got this new option in the home screen settings, and this is one of my biggest regrets. I was going through this very fast, and this was in a demo area with demo devices, and so I couldn't take forever because other people were waiting to do the demo. This was not a One UI 7.0 demo. It was a smart things demo in a code lab uh, where you could learn how to place an object, a furniture, a 3D furniture object. And so this is not the intended purpose of this particular device. So if you look here, icon and widget style, this is the new style that was rumored uh, earlier by Ice Universe and others that allow you to change whether the icons are small or large and how the widgets appear on the home screen. But I didn't click into that, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to wait to see about that later. Um, the new phone app has these new icons at the bottom for a keypad, recents, and contacts, uh, which looks a little different. The dialer doesn't look like it's really changed, and I also went to the phone settings. If you look in one of my hands-on videos, and there wasn't really much new in there, but these are new here at the bottom. You've got a new Galaxy AI menu a lot of these have been redesigned so that they are more obvious which app icons, they, uh, which apps they actually correspond to, like Call Assist is in the phone app. Uh, instead of this being called Note Assist, it's just called Samsung Notes. And it's also got a slightly new summary here that tells you what you can do in there. 
voice recorder, you can see here that new icon, Samsung internet, the new Samsung internet icon. So all of these ones like browsing assist and note assist um, that previously had those kind of vague names, it now tells you exactly which app these particular functions live inside, which I think a lot of people uh, will obviously be very, very you know, happy with this particular change. Now you see the download icons right there. Again, this was a demo device. So Samsung Notes and Voice Recorder did not even exist on this device. Um, I don't think they were installed. So you've got the download icon there. Uh, new widgets here at the top. You can see some new widgets and also um, some of these are a little bit blurred. Um, the transparency is different than how it looks in One UI 6.1. You've also got some slightly new designs for various things here like app timers. Uh, you've got this new routines widget up here um, that looks slightly different than the old one. Screen time and then weather and clock here at the top. So there are some redesigned uh, widgets here. I wish I had placed a widget on the home screen as well. A lot of people are asking why I didn't do that. That's also one that I regret. Wish I had done that because that would definitely have been useful. I think a lot of people would have wanted to see that. Anyway, that's most of the things that I noticed. I went through my videos kind of with a fine tooth comb and I know some of you guys broke them down as well, trying to look for other changes. There's probably a couple others um, that I might discover. I've got to fly back home today to Phoenix, I'm shooting this from my hotel room before I leave. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Again, check out SammyGuru.com. We cover all the late breaking news there first um, before I'm able to make videos usually. So make sure you follow us over there. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.